Yes. All right, guys, we have the RC Logger. This is the uh, 250 Navigator. This was courtesy of RC Logger. Uh, it is a really nice quad copter. I agree. It uh, even comes with an app. Yes, it Very comes nice with an app. app. Yeah. Yes, for either Android or your Apple products. Uh, yeah. The app, you can pretty much control everything. Your, uh, you know, geofence. Uh, settings. Yeah. yeah, you know, settings. All different kinds of stuff. You know, we're actually going to get into it. But uh, right now we're just kind of doing like an unboxing, like an yeah. intro into Let's it. Let's see what's in it. All right, we can actually open this up and see what we got here, guys. This is not only a box, but it's like a carrying case. You know, it has yeah. your handle. So, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got here, guys. We got the instruction manuals. Very detailed. Uh, they're uh, colored. Uh, most of these is in color, and uh, it's actually very good English. You know. Um, well written. You know, yeah, yes, okay. yes, yes. You know, very well written. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some of these little boxes we got here. Mm, individual boxes. Yes, uh huh. Yep. It, it's actually packed nice, very nice. So we got two cords here. European cord. This is the US. US. Yeah. All right. Okay. Got a little bag here. Got uh, a nice little, wow, hex wrench too. Hmm. Um, see, that's oh, not yeah. even a screwdriver. <laughs> Uh, got some extra caps for the props. You know, that's what it holds the props on. All right. Comes with a little bag of screws. I guess that's maybe for your, I don't know, for the props maybe? I don't know. Yeah, sure. it's for the props. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yep. And look at these. There you go. <laughs> look, it says empty and store. And the other one says full. <laughs> oh, that's for your, nice. bat yeah. your batteries? Uh -huh, yeah. So you can know yeah. which battery has been charged yes. up? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. nice. XT60 uh, XT caps. caps. Oh, yeah. wow. They should start selling those. Yeah, right? They should, and, you know, and they're soft, too. They're not hard, too. Uh, 3S bouncing plug. Okay. For your charger, you know, when you want to charge your battery. And I'll show you how that goes. All right. So this is the battery. 3S bouncer and... This has a little cap, you know, scout battery, you know, walk here batteries. Oh, kind okay. of very similar. It's got the little cap and little bouncing thing and a built in XT60. Yeah. And these are 3S 2400 milliamps RC logger. And this actually slides in, in, you know, into the bottom of the quadcopter. Actually slides right in there. It's actually kind of part of the quadcopter, the way it's made. Very nice design though. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get into these other boxes. So we got the next box, let's see what we got here. All right, we have another, hmm, that's odd though. Another set of, I guess these are for uh, Yeah, know, that's for other uh, countries. Yeah, the, I think the Netherlands used those, I think. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then this is, uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, British, yeah, ooh, and uh, Asia to use this that, yeah. Oh wow, really? Okay, I didn't know Three that. Point. Hmm, very neat. Yeah, it's grounded too. So. Oh, okay, great. So they pretty much give you every plug you could possibly need, need for this uh, quadcopter. All right, we have another 3S bouncing cord. All right, uh, the actual XT60 charging cord. And this, I haven't even opened this up yet. Let's see what we got here. Some kind of charger. Oh, wow. So it says RC Logger, but this looks like the, uh, what is it, Sky RC or something? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you yeah, ever seen these? Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so it goes from 1S to, to 4S. 4S. Yeah, auto neat. charger. 1 amp, 2 amp, and 3 amps. Uh, oh, wow, it's got lipo and life too. It'll, yeah. it'll do life batteries too. So, pretty nice, right? Yeah. Pretty nice little charger. Oh, got the next box. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down here because of the wind today. I want to blow up. Okay, this looks very much like the uh, Fly Sky controller. Uh, uh, takes four double A's. Has a trainer port where you could actually do like a buddy box I guess type of thing. Uh, the signature. Yes. Uh, gimbal. Very nice gimbals though. They feel very nice and uh, you know has the to the center. Four switches. Wow. Okay. Yes this is an eight channel uh, you know controller actually this is an eight channel. Yeah. Yeah. This actually controls your uh, gimbal camera. That one does. Uh, um, has a nice screen too. 
nice controller though uh, and they even give you double A's for it. <laughs> even comes with double A's which is yeah. pretty nice um, I thought I thought that was pretty nice uh, to fly. a nice a nice one too you know now you know this is oh, as yeah. nice as you nice know sir. some of the other ones I got I mean see pretty heavy duty one too RC logger all right B D I be this guy. Wow, trainer port. You know, trainer. Okay, this is so you can plug it to a, uh, you know, computer. I guess it's, you know, you know, sim. You know, like a, you know, simulator port. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, that's yeah. the only thing I could figure that. Oh, it's an upgrade cable. Upgrade cable too. You're right too. Like firmware upgrade cable. Sure. Yeah. yeah, you're right too. This probably is what it is. So, okay, last box, guys. So here we go. All right, and there is the quadcopter with some more of this foam. This is, you know, um, like I said, this is some nice foam. It's a box, but like a carrying case. Uh, well, it really is. Uh, all right, this is a little tricky, though, getting this out of here. Actually, we're going to get rid of these because uh, I'm not ever going to use these. These are the... Prop guards? You know, yeah, you know, prop guards. You know, which is good for somebody, I guess, that's, you know, learning to fly or whatever. You know, a little unsure about flying, but... You know, I'm never going to use these, so I'm probably going to get rid of these because they, they, um, you know, make it kind of hard to get the quadcopter in and out of here. Props, you know, through here. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, see what I mean? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I'm probably going to get rid of these. But that is some nice foam, though, you know, the way, you know, the way it fits. In yeah, there. when a manufacturer actually takes the time to the time to do package that, right? everything yes. individually, you can see the, uh, the quality. quality yeah. The quality, exactly. Yeah, the, this the main uh, business. Very nice quadcopter. I'll be honest with you. You know, Leo, I really like this one. Uh, lens cap. Yeah, lens cap. It's uh, controllable. You know, it has the gimbal. And <laughs> yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. And you can actually see the camera and the little servo in there. That you know tilts the camera. Oh yeah. Is that neat? Yeah. 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 You know, look at that camera too. You know, look at the case of the camera. That's yes. nice. Yeah. You can see the uh, silver arms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty neat, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like a hood though for a car. <laughs> And uh, transport is good. That's how the battery actually slides in here. It and that's the XT60 plug up there. And the battery actually becomes part of the quadcopter, like it's you know actually the you know bottom of the quadcopter, okay. which is pretty neat. And this has some nice lights on it as well, Leo. You know, not just the ones in the arms, but they have these in the back, which are actually uh, these two here, and they're actually indicator lights as well, GPS as well. You know, like um, you know, number of uh, satellites, I believe. Okay. SME. Yes, and that's a nice, uh, you know, nice antenna they give you too, huh? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and that's your GPS uh, module. Yep. Okay. And oh, something else I want to show you too. Look at these. Look at these landing legs. Ah. Uh, for transport. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For transporting, they fold up. But actually, the you know funny thing is, you could still, they still, like uh, touch the ground. You know what I mean? Like, okay, that as well. Yeah, which is kind of so neat. You can have a low profile. Yeah, low profile, I guess. Kind of, kind of a different shape prop, right? You see the yeah. the, the pitch is a little. Yes. Yeah. 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 Kind of extreme pitch, though. I guess that's, you know, might make up for the fact that it's you know kind of heavy, and these are not super big motors you know I would say they're 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 not uh, they're not 1806s I'd say they're, they're smaller than 1806 but they seem to be bigger than like the ones on uh, the XK X251 or the ones on the you know rodeo ones that are like 1306s so these are somewhere in between those two I'd say screws down yeah Yes, it actually has two little screws and like a little mounting yeah. type plate on top, cap, mounting cap. I mean, just overall, you know, from what I've seen so far, though, I, you know, I like the design of it. You know, I think it's a neat looking quadcopter. I really do. Let's put it to a test then. All right, let's do it.